stiff neck and shoulders, then you want to scratch that itch, right? Scratch that itch. So let's say, you know, when your neck, in the back of your neck, you're like, hey, man, that's itchy, right? You want to scratch like that, okay? Right? But then when you raise your arm, what do you notice? Man, smell the armpits. I'm going to cut my armpits. Prevent me from smelling my armpits, right? So scratch the itch. Step one, scratch the itch. Step two, cut that armpit, right? Okay? But you got the other armpit. So this arm's going to go scratch the itch. You want to cup that smelly armpit, right? So scratch the itch, cup the armpit. Scratch the itch, cup the armpit. You're going to do this for about 30 times, right? You can do it three sets of these, right? So scratch that itch and then cup that stanky armpit, right? Do this every single day and you'll notice your neck gets looser, your shoulders get looser, right? Make sure you follow me here for more of these awesome biohacking tips. My brother mom, Maria Cook, she had serious problems with her sinuses and migraine headaches. I took her to her primary physician, gave her antibiotics, and asked her to take Tylenol for her headaches. I then decided to bring my mother here and to see Dr. Yan, and she was cured within hours. Her migraine headaches are gone, and she's a true believer in acupuncture. Respect yourself, and others will respect you. So respect yourself. What does it mean to respect yourself? Because it's different for everybody, right? What does it mean? And so in order to, to find out what it means, let's look up in the dictionary. So respect is a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. A feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. So there's three words, their abilities. So one is abilities. So that's a definition. And so it's a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something uh, that elicited by their abilities, qualities, and achievements. So in order to respect yourself, um, so that others will respect you. You first need to respect yourself. How do you respect yourself? Well, you gotta improve your abilities and the qualities and achievements. And so that's how you can really, you know, because you know, when do you really feel good about yourself? When you're winning, right? When you accomplish something, when you're productive. And what did all those do? Uh, when you're productive, you get achievements. Like you decide today I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna clean my whole house. And when you accomplish that, that's an achievement. You clean, you clean your own house. Then you're gonna feel better about yourself. And guess what? You're going to have more respect for yourself, right? A caring quality. When you care for someone, when you deliver food to someone, that someone who can't go to the grocery store, maybe they're you know elderly, they're immune compromised, and they can't go to the grocery stores to get food, and you go actually get the food and drop it off at the doorstep for them, that's a quality, it's a caring quality. When you care for someone, guess what? You're gonna respect yourself even more, right? And ability, what can you do? Right now, we all have free time, right? Well, the, 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 the common excuse that many people use when they don't accomplish something is they don't have enough time. So are you using that time to improve your abilities or are you using it to binge watch TV or you know, binge watch, uh, you know, play video games or whatever? Are you using this time to improve your abilities? Because it's by improving your abilities, your ability whether to produce, to provide for your family, learning a new skill. Maybe you know you're in the you know computer um, industry. Maybe you're learning to program with a different program, you're learning how to do that. That increases your ability. And when you learn that ability, guess what? You're gonna have more respect for yourself because you just gained another ability, right? So when you focus on improving your abilities, this is so important, especially right now. If you can focus on this, you automatically increase the respect for yourself. And then what did Confucius say? You respect yourself and others will respect you, right? So first, you gotta do this for yourself. This is not for someone else, this is for you. So you wanna, in order to increase respect for yourself, you gotta increase your ability, your ability to produce, your quality. You gotta improve the quality, uh, it can be a quality of your life too, by taking care of your health. Because that achievement and great health, we're all about taking care of our health, right? If you don't improve the quality of your health, you're not helping anybody. You're not going to respect yourself if you don't take care of your own body, right? And so improve the qualities, right? And lastly, achievements. If you have more achievements, the more achievements you have, the more achievements you have, the more respect you're going to have for yourself. 
I'm not talking about other people respecting you. I'm talking about you respecting yourself, right? This is what, now this, this is just my interpretation of what Confucius meant, but this are the things that I, when I read this quote, this is what I got. And hopefully this you know, Wisdom uh, Wednesday, this can help empower you to actually get more better abilities, qualities, and achievements. And in return, you're gonna respect yourself even more. And a side benefit of that is other, others will respect you even more also. All right, guys.